Hey guys, Mr. and Mrs. Flashback here with our video to start off the week, new week. Um, yeah, it's Monday. It's Monday. We're going to go over what's sold on our online stores that we sell on eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, Facebook, and Amazon, wherever we can try to make a few bucks. If you're new, we buy stuff, garage sales, estate sales, all those good places. Try to flip it online for a profit. This is one day of sales on all those platforms for us. We do have other jobs and stuff. This is something we do on the side. But it does generate some decent income. So let's go into it. What are the numbers for today first? So we had 13 sales across two platforms for um, just around 375. Pretty solid day. Definitely happy with it. We had something on a different platform, so that was nice. We'll start off with that item. Um, on Mercari, we sold this American Eagle flannel jacket. Um, Pretty nice. And then flannel jacket, and it did sell for thirty dollars plus shipping. That was two bucks. Yeah, so thirty bucks plus shipping. I think it said we're going to make about twenty-five on that. So after our cost of goods, we're at twenty-three or twenty-two and some change. Now we'll get into the first item on eBay. First up, we have this uh, these two vintage um, Yule Grinner's George Booth Christmas bunny cards. Like cartoon Christmas cards. There's 40 in total, and those sold for 24 and a half ship. And those came in a big, I think, storage unit guy buy, just a bunch of holiday stuff. So Next up, we have a genuine Garmin Nuvi 50 car charger, and that one sold for $9 ship. I don't even know where I got this, but it's sold. And next up, Cameron purchased... Um, a lot of a whole set or a set of this echo international um floral stuff and this it's person like a tea set or whatever yeah so this person purchased two of the teacups Saucer? with saucers yeah two of them and... floral generation is the pattern made in japan i got this from storage unit guy as well i have not sold i think anything out of this but the person bought two so at least we're combining shipping yeah. Um, and it's been up for a while, so happy to see it go. And they did sell for $50 for the 50 pair. bucks, so that's not too bad. Of course, packing a breakable like that is not the most ideal, but at least we're getting 50 bucks for four little items. We'll get them packed up nice and get them out of here. Then we've got a three-pack of Metro by T-Mobile employee work uniforms. They're a size small, and those sold for $40 shipped. You made a good money on the T-Mobile stuff. Next up, we have a vintage uh, Sony SL100 VCR recorder. It's actually back here, but we'll just put it on the screen so you can see. It's pretty heavy, pretty bulky. It is sold as is. It does power on, but it doesn't work completely. And we sold it for 67 and a half a ship. It won't read any of the, the beta tapes that I had, so I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know if there's something that can be fixed or not. We sold it for parts. It will probably still cost us around 30 to ship. I think I'm in it for 5 bucks. So we'll make a little bit of money. Just happy to see it go. Plus, it's pretty big. Then out of one of the $10 CD buys, we've got Big Mama Thornton Ball and Chain, sold for $9 shipped. Then we've got Teen Witch and the Heavenly Kid as uh, the 80s double feature, sold for almost $13 shipped. Next up, we have this 18-inch Shere Khan. He's from the Disney Store. He is from the Jungle Book, and he sold for $31.5 shipped. Is this the one where we didn't get him, though? I don't know where I got him from. It wasn't the one we got from that thrift store, so. No. Uh, luckily with the plush, you just kind of fold them up and they can fit in a nice smaller package, so. Yes. That's good. Next up, uh, we have this four pack of chairs. These are vintage furniture out of a dollhouse. Um, they are unmarked, so we're not sure of the brand, but they're cute and they sold for $14. These are from, Linda bought a bunch of, couple bags of little miniature house, dollhouse stuff at Savers, two bags. I think she's in it for about seven or eight bucks and we've made probably over a hundred on that. And we may have a couple pieces left, but this is, I think, all the last of the wood stuff that we had. Yeah. So pretty good, they go first class. Next up, we've got replacement um, parts, weapons and warriors, is that the? It's a board game. Oh, okay, so it's a board game. Um, this is the. There's a couple things that like, I think the cannon doesn't go with it, but it's mostly these parts in here. They're very light, they'll go first class, not worth a whole lot. This sold for. Eight and a half. I bought it and it wasn't complete, and I decided to part out some of the pieces, but they really didn't sell the greatest. Next up, we have a Susan Graver sweater. It's a size 1X for women, and that sold for $28 ship. And this is a, was a dollar in the state sale, brand new. Um, last but not least, we have a mixed lot of Fisher Price uh, Mad Max figures. Just random figures. Nothing yeah, there's that a we pirate, know, there's a, whatever, like a yeah. Robin one. There's a shark. I'm thinking he might be from the pirate set. Might be green. Is that Green Lantern or is that Beast Boy? I don't know who that is. Oh. A green ninja. Some guy who's a thug. No, I don't know. 
But the uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of them there. I didn't really look savers. them up. Yeah, the bag at Savers was five ninety nine for a bag of figures. These and there was one other thing that I listed as well that might sell, but these sold for thirty dollars shit. And they sold in a couple days, so not too long. They'll go first class still, easy money. And then we got one other figure that should sell for around twelve or maybe two figures, but at least one that'll go for twelve or thirteen. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. That's all we got, guys. So the first day of the week did okay. Can't complain at all. Guy got all this packed up, and we'll see you in the next clip with what sells tomorrow Tuesday. Yeah. And we're back with the sales for Tuesday. So here we are, guys. We're gonna go over what sold on Tuesday now. Linda will first go over the numbers, and then we'll show you what sold. Uh, so we had 11 sales on just one platform um, for just around 5:35. Yep. And there's one big ticket item in here guys really great find and actually we have some other stuff that'll sell from this buy but we spent twenty dollars on a box of things and the biggest item we sold today came out of it and it sold within a week so first item though that sold first up we have crown for christmas on dvd time for those adorable christmas movies and this one we picked up at savers was that this past weekend yep three this bucks past weekend? we had like 250 with our discount or whatever but and it sold for 15 dollars shipped guys look out for hallmark it's right there in the top hallmark movies not just christmas hallmark like love stories there you can pretty much predict how they're going to work out because they're all the same they're always happy just very wholesome endings it seems but either way it's, during it's, covid we watched a lot of these because they were playing christmas movies like during july we were staying with their parents and they were on all the time. They, you get into them, but either way, if you can find them on DV, they're not that common. We've sold them as high as 40 bucks for brand new ones. This one sold for 15 in a couple days used. It's a Christmas one. Next. Next up, we've got a Mac Davis concert tour program from 1978. Sold for 17 and a half shits. One of those music things we like to pick up. Then we got a vintage pair of Nike cleats. They're a little beat up. They're, they're kind of trash. They're, yeah. they're definitely old. I got them. I don't know why I even got them. They were a couple bucks in the state sale. They're super old. I listed them kind of as a project piece or whatever, you know, as like a collectible, I guess. And they finally sold for $54 shit. I've had them sold as low as like 30 bucks on a best offer before and no one ever pays, but this person did. So pray on these go through without issue. Next up, we've got James Bond 007 Agent Under Fire for PS2, sold for six and some change. Not that great. Don't solicit that one. Then Camp 2022, Karen got underwear. This is and... our second set of socks. Yeah. Second set so of we're two. selling two packs of six uh, for $35 shipped. And I paid two bucks a piece. So I'm in them for four bucks. They go out. That was the best offer for 35 They, sh I don't know. They may go in a padded or maybe just barely first class. I don't know if you remember. Uh, I think they went in a padded last So week. cost us eight something to ship them. So we're in them for about 13 bucks, let's say. So I'm for 35 Pretty easy money and a multi quantity listing. We got more to sell. There you go. Next up, we have an Infinity Stainless Steel Black logo license plate. You can um, kind of see up. There's the circus bears. Uh, That's I hate a the sun, circus bears. Sensi box circus bears all the way. Oops, that way. Anyways, this is a little license plate here. Got it for two bucks, and we did we sell the frame yet? I don't know if we sold the frame yet. Uh, I don't know. We may have sold the frame already. That's not it. No, then maybe. I think we did sell the frame. It was like a plastic frame as well. Sold them separately. This sold for uh, thirty dollars shipped. Thirty bucks. Next up, Lilith's Pet Shop. This is the brown boxer, number 83, and he sold for eight and a half ships. If you're new to Lilith's Pet Shop, first of all, there's a lot of fakes out there, so be careful. Someone's got a bunch of really clean looking ones, they might be fakes. Um, there's videos to learn how to try to identify them. But if you buy a nice old collection of them or a bag of them at Savers or whatever, get them cheap, usually dogs and cats have the most value. I yeah. love, you can usually use Google Lens, take a photo of the item, it'll show you what the specific number is of the dog or cat, what it, type of cat it is dog and then you can look it up some of them go great out of the, the was it a Datsun or whatever the wiener dog yeah there's a couple of those that I used to sell for like 50 60 bucks when I could find them so the Great Danes usually go for 15 Great Danes usually do well we've sold them Persian cats we can lock the Persian cats up together yeah. um Siamese cats I think uh you can different ones just sell better but dogs and cats usually and then I usually lot up the ones that are not that great the other animals and sell them separately Next up, we have this antique version of Tennyson's Poems, uh, the Portical Works of Alfred Tennyson, and that sold for $20 shipped. Yeah, this was out of a $50 book buy. We sold that um, software for $50 bucks out of it already. This is the second thing to sell for $20. Next up, we've got uh, the $800 DVD buy, Prime Suspect, a complete collection, sold for $28 shipped. Helen Mirren, never heard of it. 
then out of our vintage perfumes, this, this is, a, is... It's a different one. I got some in state sale, but not oh, okay. from the same buy. Not from the same buy, but it's vintage perfume. Cartier La Panthère. You yeah. parfum. 2.5 ounces on this Almost one. full, sold for $45 shipped. It was like $1.50 for this, so pretty good deal. A lot of the ones we've... A lot of the ones we've had have been um, samples. This one is actually like a full... That's a full size. Yeah. So pretty good. Then our big boy of the night. This is a copy of A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. They should, this would be, I think, a very, very solid movie. It's a very good book. If they were just... This have... copy is from 1996. It's the Bantam hardcover book, uh, the book club edition. And it sold in its current state for $150 ship. Pop of this estate uh, uh, garage sale. This guy's got a box of books. I can't even see the Game of Thrones one, but they're all kind of like fantasy. They're hardcover. A lot of newer ones, nothing like super vintage. But she wants, I think she wanted three bucks a piece or something like that, two bucks a piece. And there were like, I don't know, 20 in there. And I said, how about 20 bucks for all of them? And she said, sure. I happened to see the Game of Thrones as I was scrolling through. It looked like there was a whole set of them. I'm like, oh, I could probably get 30, 40 bucks for that set. And then I'll sell the rest and make some money too. When I looked this one up, I found out this is the year that it first came out or around that time. It's a book club edition though. If you have the original first edition, it's like a $300 book. Not signed or anything. Uh, maybe 200 to 300 um, I got top dollar for my book club edition. I listed it at 150 and I put in the notes, hey, can someone give me some information on... The book, because I was having a hard time determining the book club versus original first edition because someone marked theirs as first edition and it looked like mine and later found out from someone who messaged me that theirs, they, theirs was wrong. This is actually a book club edition. They gave me one little tip, and I'm going to share it with you guys. If on the back of the book where the barcode is, if there's no price on there, he said generally that means it's some kind of a book club or some kind of edition like that because ones that are first editions that are on the shelves will have a price on them if they're newer books because that's how you would know how much it is at the store to buy the book club ones you're a part of the book club therefore you get the book and it's you know part of whatever that club package is so that's what he said it seems to check out this is a book club one and it sold for it we say 150 dollars 150 bucks guys we have all we have all the books from the series uh there's, the other ones will probably go from like 30 or 40 this is the first in the series it has the most value from what with the books that we had so a great 20 dollar investment next that's it. No, that's it. That's all we got. But our best item last. As I was talking to Linda before we did this video, she's packing up this stuff today. Very easy day for her. Obviously, she'll take some care with the book to make sure it's packed up nicely, but perfume and some shoes, everything else is pretty much slide in a bubble mailer or whatever and send it on its way. So very happy with that. But there's also one item we didn't share with you yesterday because it sold this morning. Ah, yes. We were messaged about it um, last night and we were kind of debating on what to do. We had a prosthetic leg, an old one. I got it at the garage sale for 10 bucks. Very old, worn out. The guy was using it as a Halloween prop. I listed it kind of as a Halloween prop or whatever, not for use, not for medical use. And someone messaged us from uh, Georgia, and they are doing a movie. We're not going to say what movie it is or any. Oops, sorry, just poke Linda. But not going to do uh, what, tell them what movie it was or whatever, but you know, we'll confirm if that seems to be the case later on. They said, hey, they need it by Friday for their movie set. They want to provide their own label. We don't usually do that, but we check. everything seemed to check out with the address, with who it is. Everything seems to line up. And Linda's going to show you on the screen. That's the prosthetic leg. And when I say it's beat up, it's beat up. It's worn. It's definitely not perfect shape. And it was listed for 200 200 And I've sold it before for 100 or less a couple times. And they never paid. And thankfully they didn't. I'm very happy in these moments because they paid full price for this, plus they sent their own label. We are taking a bit of a chance with that, but again, everything checked out. It seemed to go to the place where this movie is being filmed. The person, the address seems to line up. Everything seems to match up. And if it goes through, that was a $200 sale. And this item will be in a pretty big movie um, with some pretty famous actors and actresses in it. If so. it does, we're going to watch it definitely and so see, see if it actually shows up. Item. Anyways, that, uh, we yeah. sold that for 200 Technically, it sold this morning, but the, the deal was happening last night, basically. Yeah. Where we had to pack it up first thing. Once they got us label, so we could get it out today, so we can get to them, because they actually paid for two day or for overnight. Overnight shipping. FedEx overnight shipping. Almost two hundred dollars in shipping. They paid basically almost what they paid for the item because they wanted it that quickly. Yeah. So that's it, guys. That actually added yesterday's numbers and boosted them up, and then we had this great book sale today. So we are super blessed. We'll see you in the next video or possibly the next clip with what sells on Wednesday. So take care.
we were in the emergency room all night. So, yeah. Linda's a regular I'm frequent, a basket case. frequent flyer. So, <laughs> we didn't get home till 5 this morning. So, obviously, that means we didn't get to pack or do video last night. So, we're doing it during Cameron's lunch. Woo! Yeah. So, yeah, hey. he's still working. Even yeah. though we got home at 5 in the morning and then got, like, four hours of sleep and started work. Yeah. So, anyways, it's okay. And luckily, um, you're going to see here in a second, we sold some stuff, made some money, but it's relatively easy and it wasn't an overwhelming day. So, I guess if there's any silver lining, at least it's not too much to do. Yeah. Go over the numbers first, babe, and then we'll jump into it. So, we had nine sales last night for um, just around 285 Yep, so pretty good. Uh, almost to our goal, but again, uh, it was basically a slower day, but we had a lot going on, so it kind of works out. First item. First up, we have this Phil Wickham CD, Songs for Christmas. It is sealed and sold for ten and a half shipped. I think that was a dollar at a thrift store. Then we've got a Men's Stour Premier Collection, um, 1930s-Tronic watch. Uh, with... I think it says, it says 21 jewels. I'm not sure what that means. Let's see if it has jewels in it. I don't know. Oh, okay. It's pretty cool. Uh, There's the watch. Comes in the box with everything. It was 15 bucks. It's one of those automatic ones. So, like, I think when you, like, are active or whatever, like, it activates it and then oh, cool. the thing works. There you go. Um, but and this sold, this was 15 bucks at a garage sale and it sold for? $110 shipped. $110 shipped. That was an offer to watcher. Is very happy with that. Never heard of the brand, but looked it up at the sale. Next up, we have a Bitaford Canon 4 Prong uh, blanket controller. Sold a bunch of these. And that sold for $25 shipped. Um, with these, if you don't have the blanket, if you have the blanket, you can really test it out. If you just have this, usually you can power it up and it'll give you like an E here. Because there's an error because it's not plugged in. Yeah. If mine powers up, I'll usually say it appears functional. We've sold a lot of these. I would say I think I've had one, maybe two in however, 13 years or how long I've been reselling that have come back to me when I tested them that way. Obviously, I like to have the blanket. I'll just get rid of the blanket if it's not worth it and sell these. But if you just find these, if they get them cheap, might be worth it to sell. 25 bucks, probably padded flat rate on this one or something like that. Usually, they're too much for first class. Next up, camera got somebody's Tigger collection. Um, last time you saw the adorable little uh, nursery Tigger, but this is the awesome giant Pez dispenser Tigger. And he sold for uh, $50 shipped, and he is going global shipping program and that was what the going rate was another one that sold for 50 there was one listed for on the same mine sold within a day and uh this is from what we're calling the disney 330 buy i spent 330 on all those ornaments which we sold one for 300 and i sold this now for 50 and i got a bunch of other stuff did a lot of tigger stuff a bunch of other ornaments and more christmas decorations that are all from this buy it's gonna be very profitable this is, I think, the second thing to sell, so we're three fifty now in sales. There you go. Actually, no, we sold another ornament. We're three seventy. So we sold that. Uh, oh, Maleficent. Exactly. Yeah. So next item. Next up, we've got Mario Kart Eight for Wii. Sold for fifteen dollars shipped, and that we picked up from R and R. Yep, that sold overnight as well. Then uh, we have our letters. We're almost out. We got one left, I think. We got one left. One left. I think we had the name Preston. I think we have the R left. So we have R no, and S. then oh we have S and then N just sold for eight dollars shipped. The other ones were selling for ten. They're on sale now. I think that's why this one is sold for a little bit less. But we got them. I spent ten bucks on all of them, and we sold most of them for ten. We make about five bucks each one when they're selling for ten. We'll probably make more like three something on this one, but it's been easy. Very good. You know, I wish we could have had more of a multi quantity and just put them up, and could have been great. Next up, we've got a Sanford 51133 Dexter pencil sharpener, and that sold for 15 and some change. Not a whole lot. It's a little heavy, too. I think I had it for two bucks at an estate sale. Then we've got Pretty Little Wife, a novel paperback, sold for $10 shipped. Um, this thing about these books, guys, if you're ever uh, looking at paperback books, you'll see people using stock photos, and this book sells for five bucks stock photo, free shipping. Um, I list, I looked in there, I saw there were like eight or nine comps over the past couple months and I've sold and only, you know, maybe 20 or so listed. So I took the chance of listing mine with actual photos and listing it for 10 bucks and it sold in a week. So on, on books, sometimes if you just take the time to put an actual photo, you can actually get a few dollars more on the item. And that's Tori. That's Tori. She's in the background. Her and the dog are battling for space behind us. And next item. At the $800 DVD buy, we've got Call the Midwife, Season 8, sold for $22.5 shipped. Yep. I think this is oh, and that's sealed. And the last one. 
Last up, we've got Ridge Racer for PSP, sold for nine and some change. Just uh, UMD only. So that's all we got, guys. Really easy packing day, too. I mean, the Pez being probably the most challenging thing, but it's not super hard. Just got to find the right box. Then we'll get this packed up, and we will see you guys in the next clip with what sells on Thursday. Hey, we're back. <laughs> We're back with the sales for Thursday. That's this corny thing Linda wants to do. Anyways, um, we're going to... Everybody gonna, has their thing. Everybody does. We're going to go over the sales for Thursday, guys, uh, on our eBay store. Linda will go over the numbers first, then we'll show you what's sold. Did we sell anything else last night? After? No, we did all. We did the video this morning. I forgot. Okay. Yeah. So, what are the numbers? What? You sure? Yes. Okay. I'm ready. So, we had nine... Wait, what? No. Nine items nine sales on ebay only um because cameron kind of sucks at listing but it's okay um so we had nine sales on ebay and that came to a total of just over 305 which is a real pleasure to be around uh well i didn't list yesterday because we were at the er because of this one so otherwise i probably would have listed but didn't get home until about 5 30 or something like that so that doesn't can, change anything complain. about not selling on the other platforms well i can't do it all around here but anyway so we'll go over the items first the first item is First up, we have this lot of George Strait CDs. We got nine of them, sold for twenty-five dollars shipped. Yeah, I just it's a bunch of country CDs. We got them, I think, for fifty bucks for all of them. Um, we'll make some money on it. There was he said there was more. That's uh, all he does. What? He said it's a bunch of country CDs, but he's George Strait. That's what he does. No, yes, I'm talking about. In the, I bought a whole tub of CDs, oh. and there was mostly country. My main source said there's a lot of trans music and different trance music and different stuff in there, like. Wait, trans or trance? No, trance. There we not go. Okay. Trans. Um, but it ended up not being as much as he thought. It was mostly country. So we'll lot them up. We'll make money. And we sold some. We'll sell some individually. But that was twenty five ship. Then we've got a Lexmark uh, thirty two thirty three ink cartridges sealed. Sold for nineteen dollars shipped. We picked up at Saber. This is five bucks. So it's a first class shipper. Not a whole lot, but it's an easy one. Then we've got Crash Super Pack for Game Boy. Sold for fifteen and some change. Easy one. Then we've got a Harbor Breeze ceiling fan remote sold for fourteen. Yeah, these were I got like four of these for five or five of these for four bucks or something like that. Different Harbor Breeze and different fan remotes. That's the first one to sell. Then we went to Salvation Army over the weekend and we picked up this uh, twenty eighteen retro handheld baseball game sold for thirty five dollars shipped. It's brand new in the box. It was six bucks and it sold within a couple days now for thirty five. So really great deal on there. Uh, I don't think there was any discount on it, but paid six bucks. Yep. Then we have a lot of seven um, hardcover books with the sleeves on them of uh, Harry Potter. And those ones sold for $63 shipped. We also have the Cursed Child as well included in that set. It's not part of the original seven, I don't think. So, yeah, but that's been up. 62 bucks is pretty good. They used to go for like 75, 80 bucks, but the prices kind of come down in the Harry Potter set. But it'll still sell if you can get them for cheap. Then uh, the horror DVD buy, we've got Black Sabbath, sold for 14 and some change. Every once in a while, we'll sell a horror DVD. And this is the, probably the coolest Halloween thing. is still in full swing. We've got a rare vintage 1997 green plastic alien drinking cup with the straw, and he sold for almost $28 shipped. My brother and I had a joint birthday party one year with our friends, and it was alien themed, and it was awesome. It was like 90s style. We went, we went uh, like the retro, uh, the glow, night glow bowling or whatever it is, and the lights are off and everything. It was cool. We had a lot of fun. A lot of, a lot of good memories. Was that when you guys weren't being mean, or did yeah, you fight that's it when that we one? actually liked each other for a second. We put up with each other. You didn't fight it that one? I don't think so. Either way, this is from 97. Kind of reminds me of that. And yeah, it was like a dollar at a garage sale. Too cool to pass up. Then these Doc Martens sold again. These uh, size 10 boots. Uh, they sold for $80 shipped. They had sold once before, but I didn't note a little bit of damage they had on. I didn't see it, and so I went ahead and updated the listing. And same price, and they still sold for full price. Unfortunately, so. with these glossy kind of boots, they do get those scuffs on in there. You don't want to take a magic eraser to it because it will cut into it more. And you don't want to mess it up. So yeah. they look they look okay. I mean, I think if you're just wanting the boots and you know don't mind a little bit of wear, they're fine. Yeah. But yeah, I got them for ten. Or 10 or 15 and sold them for 80 so pretty good that's all we got pretty easy packing day the boots and this little thing probably being the hardest linda will take care of all this and then we'll see you maybe if anything else sells tonight but if not we'll see you in the next video with what sells this weekend so take care bye bye